What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free, and in this video, we are going to go ahead and talk about the new upcoming update that is scheduled to come out really, really soon. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Hope you all enjoy. Of course, subscribe if you want to be new for more content. And that being said, let me go ahead and read this post from Zahal over on the Dokkan Reddit. Again, shout out to them. Make sure you are a part of the community if not. Otherwise, we're going to read this, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions, and then we're going to show some demonstrations, and I'll probably answer a question or two that you might have so anyways let's go ahead and bounce into it so japan app update coming soon twitter seems to be showing new features like last time so yes they're actually showing several there are several videos and images and stuff like that that the official twitter is basically showing off ahead of time so kind of like leaking it right anyways that being said uh new feature number one status debuffs buffs etc will appear when taking slash dealing damage for example if you stun an enemy the stun icon will appear below the damage dealt so we're going to go ahead and see an actual visual demonstration of that momentarily. Uh, new feature number two, units whom you can attack, or excuse me, who can unlock potential, <laughs> uh, unlock a potential path, will glow blue in the hidden potential screen, making it easy to tell. That's actually very awesome to me. I think that's a cool idea. Again, we're going to show a visual of that. Feature number three, transformed units, apes, giants, that type of thing. So yes, Vegeta should be a part of that Rage Vegeta. Any unit that can do that type of transformation that locks them in. Beerus, you know, Rage Fierce or Fury Beerus, whatever. Those units, not like transformation like Ultra Instinct or LR Vegito or LR Gogeta. Not that kind, but the other kind like the Apes and stuff like that. So those units, this one specifically for them, they now retain potential system buffs when transforming. Can we get an F in the chat? Can we get an F in the chat? Let me know in the comment section how many times you guys have heard me ask for that. Like, in videos, because I love doing freaking ape showcases, and it always blows. It always blows when I am stuck with the stagnant attack stat, because they get, when they transform, they get a natural attack stat. It's like, whatever, like 30,000 or something like that. And there is no change, no variance, anything. Only difference is the leader skill boost. The attacks will literally be exactly the same attack stat every single time among most of the apes, especially the older ones. So can we get an F in the chat? Pay your respects for Dokkan finally doing that. Now, this is we're going to see a visual of that, but just quick spoiler, it doesn't really impact links, but it's still nice to get additionals, crits, dodges if you dodge. Like, that's awesome, bro. Uh, you don't really need dodge, but still, it's still nice thematically. Anyways, moving on. Uh, you can I've legit been asking for that for like over a year. Okay, like I'm, that's, how, that's how important that is to me. Anyways, number four. You can now see friends clear at times uh, for events. It looks like... We're finally getting a retry. So there's going to be a retry button for the events. Wow, that's... Wow! Okay, so I actually really like that. That one I didn't know too much about. We're going to come back to that. According to the in-game announcement, there will be more. Looks like it drops 819. Okay. That last part is important. Because there could be more information. Of course, if there is more, I will be back to report. But, of course, of, per normal, I mean, stuff right here is subject to change. So if there's more information, more new features, it sounds like this is a pretty big app update, which I'm excited about, man. I am very excited for the game to just introduce new features. So moving on to new feature number one, the one that displays your debuffs or buffs, etc., uh, when you do damage. So let's go ahead and go over to that. So right now you can already see it. So basically what it says right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and translate their tweets. They say new feature information one soon to be implemented show state abnormal effect at the time of the attack is released ahead when attacking during battle. If the status change or status abnormality or state abnormality is given by the skill effect, it will be displayed as an icon under the damage. So basically when you are attacking, if your character can do some sort of abnormal status effect like attack down defense down or stun you will see it here i've had people ask me like how do you tell if they're stunned which is that's fine because the game doesn't really too much tell you i don't know if it does but i don't think it really does um maybe in the story mode i don't know anyways um this icon right here you know these things display up here right they display up here but you know this is good because if you're literally not aware of this or you're not accustomed to these icons for whatever reason i mean they flash but uh, bear with me you know, you see him right here. It, it's nice. It's nice as a reminder because I've been a victim of sometimes being a little bit like thinking two turns ahead or whatever and not paying attention to what's in the top left, the far top left, and being aware of things. Of course, that's that's my mistake, but still, it's a thing. So this is cool. It's a nice little thing. I mean, it's not like a big deal, but it's nice to see the, just the status effects. And in a lot of scenarios, we're just not going to see much because, unfortunately, new events, you can't do anything to them. <laughs> At least on the later stages these days unless you're android 17 that is but still 
but still nice to see it. So moving on, feature number two. So this is the one that shows the characters that are eligible for potential system dupes, I believe. Uh, new feature number two, the pre-release display of potential open characters will be implemented soon in the selection screen of the Laden ability release. So the potential the potential uh, screen where you go in there and you are looking at your available characters. That's where this is. Uh, Laden ability release character. The character that can open the Laden route, it appears to glow blue. So the characters that still have potential routes to open. You know, there's the four on the map, the top left, bottom left, right, and the other right. Um... The characters that basically can still use dupes pretty much are the ones that will glow blue, which is which is actually pretty cool um, because what that does is it tells you which ones you need to prioritize and things like that as far as getting their paths open ultimately. Now, you may not have the dupes. That's fine. That could be kind of annoying to me, but I don't think it's going to look like this. This is this is mid pulsating. Like it's going to pulsate. This is mid effect. It's just going to go on and off, which again, to a stickler like me, that could be kind of annoying, but I think it's cool, like, in general, to have a feature like this to kind of tell you. And I think this should have been here from the start anyway. So, the character that can open the latent route, it will be easy to understand. Yes, you can, basically what this does is it shows you without you having to click. It's just more of those quality of life things, which, I mean, clicking doesn't take very long, but still, bear with me. I, I mean, it's, it's a minor thing, but it's still nice to see them improving. Now, here's the one I wanted to see. So, they're right now using Ape. I think that's Ape Goku. Uh, correct me if I'm mistaken. Anyways, they're using an Ape. And they're going to demonstrate the Apes being able to basically activate hidden potential. Right? Uh, when you are in a state such as a large Ape, huge Rage. So, yes. For, again, I, I, I spoke on it earlier. For anybody asking about this, it applies to all of the states like this. That, that Again, not the newer transformation mechanic, but the older one. The Rage... The huge, like, uh, Herudagon or, or like, uh, freaking uh, Ribrian, Like, those characters that get that where they take up the whole bottom like apes. Yeah. Anyways, uh, they're able to use their potential system. So, they're going to demonstrate that here. Okay. So, it's on 1x per normal, but you see that they got a dodge. Now, dodge doesn't really matter because, I mean, again, it's an ape. It wouldn't take damage. Oh, hey, Herudagon idea. <laughs> You give them all dodge, just so you can be like a pseudo Hurudagon, right? So you're going to see the additional attack right there. That's pretty awesome. And the crit in one. So, yeah, they now have access to that. So there's actually a freaking benefit to having them at 100%. There was a benefit, sort of. Not really at 100% per se, but SA10. Because the damage would change at SA10, but 100% it didn't change. But otherwise, there is now a reason. So that's pretty nice. That's my favorite one. That's my favorite update in a while, actually. And then this is the last one where you can see your clear times and stuff. This is a little fuzzy to me, personally, because I didn't know a lot about it. Uh, new feature number four, soon to be implemented. Last deck and clear record function ahead of the public. That's interesting. So they can see your last deck or the last deck that you used or something like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, the deck will be saved every stage at the time of the clear. So <laughs> this one's pretty interesting. I like this one. I'm going to talk about it momentarily. So they're basically keeping a record of the team that you used. Off that first line, and your, your your friends can see it. This is pretty funny, actually. And here's why: um, <laughs> for like the for the people that are like way early in the game, that are kind of like modding or whatever. And I, I'm not a mod shamer. I just think it's kind of interesting that like you'll be looking like, wait, how the heck did you beat this stage with one card? <laughs> so, again, I don't, I don't give a damn what anybody does with their stuff. I just thought that was pretty funny. If you could see that, it's like, oh well, okay. <laughs> How did you win this with just one card, right? This one end card or something crazy like that. I don't know. Just Cyberman? What? That level of skill, man. Um, the deck will be saved uh, every stage at the time of the clear. You'll be able to re-challenge using the deck. So you can also re-challenge it. I don't, I don't understand the point of that. Like, I mean, okay. I guess it's good because you can keep using the same friend, it sounds like. Which is good. I mean, that's a good idea. Being able to use the same friend. But, I mean, otherwise, it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, especially with the more popular dudes. But, again, it's, it's a cool idea otherwise. Um, especially if you can use this from stage to stage. Like, say you take on Boss Rush or whatever. You find a friend there. And you can go to a like actual Dokkan event and still use the same friend because it saved it. That would be a cool idea. I think that's what they're doing, actually. I like it in that scenario. Especially for those harder to find leaders. Like, if you find them once, there's a good chance you might not see them again. Even with the new update to the friend system, I still don't find leaders sometimes. So, it's still not easy. Uh, the function of the clear record, which can see the best clear time of oneself and the friend, is planned uh, to be implemented. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see this. Maybe it's just clear time and not the team that you get to see. I mean, if we go back here, this one in blue is the saved one, 
right? And then these are the other ones. I mean, but it's the same leader across, so I don't know what they're doing. And you see the record? Yeah, you can kind of see the time that... Th oh, look! Look at this guy! Using just one Fidel! Look at that! <laughs> That's exactly what I was just talking about. How is this guy using a Cell Saga or Cell in those ends? And then the guy below... Uh, look at this. This is pretty funny. It's so unfactual. The guy right here using the Cell Saga or Cell. I keep saying that. Cell and then those characters beat it in one minute and ten seconds. The guy using an actual like meta team at the bottom took two minutes. <laughs> That's perfect. I like this. This is funny. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm misreading it, but still, I think I hope you guys find this humorous. Like it's, it's the middle of the night right now. I don't know. I'm about to go to sleep. So that is it. Um, so they they said that, you know, we'll get more information in about a week. Uh, I assume the update will be coming out shortly after that. I should have mentioned this earlier. In fact, I meant to. But if you're asking about the global release or anything like that, uh, just be aware that global still does not have the update at the moment of the recording for. And the reason I point that out, because I'll talk about it momentarily for the, you know, the. Well, for one, for the release of, release of Battlefield. I mean, Global should have got that a long time ago. But for the new feature, like as far as like summon and all that, the summon animations. But there was some talk from Renzi, a.k.a. the runner of DBZ Space, that they might be getting that tonight and or they could get this one very soon. So stay tuned for that. Things could change very quickly as far as Global's concerned, but we don't have a date for that. So I don't know. Uh, but we do know that within about a week, we're going to get more information and this update might just go live. So there's that. There's that. And you'll see the, the in-game news announcement anyway. So, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe if you were new. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have an awesome day slash night, wherever you're at. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.